Hello, this is Mr. Duxon, and I'll be your instructor for this Algebra 1 presentation titled Factoring Trinomials. Determining what terms were multiplied to arrive at a given product is a process known as factoring. And since most students are taught to multiply binomials using the FOIL method, today we're going to learn a method of factoring that reverses that process. Let me show you what I mean. We'll start with this example. When we multiply quantity x plus 2 times quantity x plus 3 using the FOIL method, we multiply the first term in each factor, x times x, to get the first term of the trinomial, x squared. To get the trinomial's second term using the FOIL method, we next multiply the outer terms of each factor, x times 3, to get 3x then multiply the inner terms of each factor, 2 times x, to get 2x, giving us the like terms that we combine to get the second term of the trinomial, 5x. And finally, to get the trinomial's third term using the FOIL method, we multiply the last terms of each factor, 2 times 3, to get 6. Now, let's reverse the process by starting with x squared plus 5x plus 6 which is a trinomial of the form x squared plus bx plus c. I mention that because when we have to factor trinomials of the form x squared plus bx plus c, we need to find the numbers that go where the question marks appear in the two binomials or factors you see below. The product of these two terms corresponds to the last part of the FOIL method, so it has to be equal to the term corresponding to c.